Today we're going to be fitting some BHR coils on a Series 1 RXA. So yeah, you might have noticed that uh, I don't look the same as the intro because the intro was filmed ages ago and I just haven't got around to actually filming the episode yet. So, without further ado, here's the episode. So, before we get the coils in, then you need to take the negative terminal off your battery before you do this. So on this car, there's an AM intake. Uh, slightly different, if you've got a stock intake, I'll put a link up here in the cards that will show you how to remove the stock airbox and get in to start removing the coil. So we're going to do the AM one. First, unplug the match sensor. For the purpose of the video, I've already removed the stock coils. So you get these bushes for the BHR kit. Each one of these needs to go on a threaded rod Oil came off of. We'll pop them all on. Four of them on there. Then you need your coil kit. Ta da! So, undo your wiring on the coil kit, it'll be wrapped around. Put your wiring out, turn on all your plug leads. So you got the kit like this. Now, what you, got, what you need to do is on the stock coil bracket, you can see we've got this wiring loom that runs around along the front. You actually need to put some force in it and bend the bracket down making sure you've got plenty of clearance between the air pump and the loom. And it gives you a little bit more clearance in here. So now, pop coils in, like so. Making sure all the plugs are underneath the star motor wire. A bit fiddly, both of it is a bit. We'll come back and I'll have the coils in. Why don't you remove the alternator wire? Could do that. So, just undo this, unclip in. Oh. Take that off. Couple of turns. That should be pretty to loose on your finger. And now you want to remove the wire, unthread it from the rope, and be clipped onto here. Just pop that off. So, all you need to do. Plug in each coil to the corresponding plug. So, number one coil, and I can get the plug in. I'm going to go with the first plug, so on, so forth. Number two, then three, then four. So 
as you're pushing the coil pack up and onto the bolt post, you're going to make sure you're tucking the plugs out of the way. Up, and on she goes, like so. Now what I like to do, is actually get this plug at the end, and actually rest the plug on the lifting eye. You can, that way you know that nothing's going to rub on the lifting eye. The plug isn't going to rub through because it's obviously plastic. No wires are going to rub through. They just put it on there like so. And make sure you push down nicely. Now you want to get your full 10 mils that you took off. It'll be quite fiddly. Try not to drop the nuts, they're all done it. We've all seen the mains drop a nut in the engine bay that doesn't hit the floor. So once you've got all of the nuts screwed on, you take the spanner, get the first one up. The reason we use this crank spanner is because some of the coils on the kit actually sit above the bolts. It actually makes it quite tricky to get to. So the first curl you could do the spanner, and the rest you can get to in a deep 10mm socket. So now your 10mm, and tighten the second two. One, and two. So we was talking about rooting the earth cable, or we're talking about rooting the earth cable. The best way I've found to root the earth cable, you've got to earth it up here on the wing. Just, just here, there's already an earth bolt up here. And the SOHN kit's been earthed up here as well. So you want to thread that behind the fuel line, so then come under under the brake lines, keep it out of the way of all of the pipes and stuff that go through the bulkhead. You can see we've still got plenty. From around the back of what would be the washer bottle. So it goes onto this bolt just there. You want to get a 10 mil, use the ratchet. Start going through this one, which is the SOHN. Make sure this, the one for the coil kit, is always on top of the original one. So if you've got anything else earth there, then make sure it's on top of the original earth. This is the best connection. And making sure the wires are tucked nicely away. Back up. That's nice and tight. So now we're going to fit the HT leads. Uh, the easiest way to do this is if you jack up the passenger side of the car, undo the wheel, take the wheel off. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to get to the plugs when you're doing it. Say you're trying to wrestle your way down through here. So join me back in a minute and we'll have the car jacked up and the wheel off. So we're going to be fitting the HT leads now. As you can see, nice MST boot on the end that goes over the plug. All of the BHR ignition kits come with either MST leads with MST components or they'll come with uh, Morosso leads and MST components. Mainly the MST components are a real good quality component you can see. So starting with L1, you want to get the boot roughly lined the connector up in the end and just give it a little twist from up, up and down as you push them home. Put the boat round then just drop it down there and we'll pop down there and put the lead on. So as you can see 
on the side of the housings, look at this, there's a T at the top, just here, for trailing, and an L down the bottom, just here, which is for leading. So, as I said, this was the leading, leading lead down here. Goes on the leading plug. When you're pushing them on, you'll hear a small click once they go home. Okay, that's the first lead on. Now back up the top. Next one is trailing one. So once again, onto the coil with a small wiggle, push it home. If it doesn't feel like it's going to push home, take it off, try again. Don't force them. So once they're home, spin it around, lay them underneath the other two coils, coil ends, down to the bottom. Now trailing two goes to the top spark plug on the front rotor. Trailing one, sorry, not trailing two. So again, the click. There we go. So leading two, we try and get that one on there. And drop it in the bottom there. So now I've got leading two, which is the rear rotor bottom spark plug. Once again, you can see the L there. So pop this one on. Now the boots seal really well on the spark plug. You have to make sure they're pushed home. You've got a good, decent connection. Now last but not least, trailing two lead. So I don't need to keep explaining every time I put it on. So trailing lead on the top plug and the back, pushing that home. It's all done. So we're all done for now down here. Just to recap, leading one coil trailing one coil, leading two coil, trailing two coil. So from the coil packs, from the front of the engine to the back, you've got front leading, front trailing, rear leading, and rear trailing. Front rotor, rear rotor. Hope this helps. Reconnect up your math sensor. Right, we're going to hook the all cable back up. So, threaded it back through where it came from. Put the nut on there. Get your spanner. Get that up. Flip it down. Done. Right, now we need to do the battery, so we'll get onto that. So, reconnect the battery up. Push that home. Make sure it's pushed down. Turn that up nicely. No wobble, you're good to go. So all that's left to do now is fire the car up and reset the ECU. We will be doing another video in resetting the ECU later on on the channel. But for the minute, I'll put a technical article about it down here in the description. So, let's get the car fired up. So, thanks for watching this episode on the SX Rotary channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, then put a dislike. Tell us down there in the comments box why you didn't like the video. We're always open to feedback. Um, any of the BHR stuff that you want, whether it be ignition kits, flywheels, loads of items that they do, you can get them. If you're in Europe or the UK, you can get them from essexrotary.co.uk. And if you're in the US, blackhaddleracing.com. Hit up Charles, he's a really nice guy and he'll sort you out for what you need.